What's going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today we're going to talk to you about Virgin Galactic. It's been a while since I've done a Virgin video. It was actually right before the reverse stock split, but at that time I did even say that I forecasted roughly around a 40% downtrend from there. And lo and behold, there we are. So I want to go over some of the current data points why it could potentially pump up from here and go over everything else you need to know. But first, make sure you hit that thumbs up. And with that, let's get right to it. So starting off on Friday, it did go up 4.7%, kind of high volume-ish. So 2.8 million shares being traded, 2.3 is the average. Volume has dropped dramatically um, over this last little bit. So that is something, again, to keep in mind. And even though the volume was 2.86 million, majority of the volume was obviously linked to shorting and just algorithmic trading so not really much has changed in that regard because this is all the transactions on the secondary market over $100,000 over the last 30 days zip so institutions still completely overlooking virgin and so like I said it's just shorts and algorithms that are kind of paying attention to it so let me know your thoughts on that actually let me add a little asterisk to that because there is one individual that is paying attention to it and he kind of does have a pretty big following so I don't know if he's trying to be another roaring kitty kind of scenario but Zach Morris I don't know for those of you that are on Twitter or X or anything like that but he does have 533,000 followers I, I've kind of watched him or followed him for a, a little bit. I know he does pump his altcoin or whatever the hell that is, uh, Zach. But he does say space is going to go fucking stupid. Do you see this shit? 18 mil float, 30% short. And clearly he must be new to the game because it's been sitting at 30% short interest for a very long time. And even right now, it went down slightly. So he cites 30.12%. It has gone down to 30.11%. But still, beside the point, this is where, in my opinion, the only reason why it did go up on Friday was him. And some of you might say, well, the broader market was going up. That's why it went up. Well, if you kind of look back at what has been happening with Virgin, despite the market actually going up, Virgin's been going down. So... You kind of have to take that with a grain of salt. You have to look at the external factors. And so far, there was no news, no SEC filings, nothing really to justify this green day. If anything, it's been more of a on a free fall, which is kind of crazy, mind you. But still, nonetheless, though, this is where there's an opportunity because by someone, random individual just looking at Virgin, he is drawing attention to it. Similar to Roaring Kitty. I'm not condoning it, not in favor or anything like that, whatever people want to do or pump completely on them. But at the end of the day, if you look at it, it is kind of hit too, too much. And so I'm going to quickly pop over here to IBKR. This is all of the latest analyst ratings. There hasn't been any recently. So last one was done 16 days ago. A $35 sell rating was given by Morgan Stanley, Christine, who does have a 57% success rating. And then aside from that, 22 days, $40 buy rating, TD Cohen, Oliver, who does have a 51% success rating. But mind you, as a consensus of all the ratings, you do have $36.40 is anticipated, and that does represent a 341.75% upside. So that is kind of crazy, it does show that this stock, even though they don't have all of them like that much catalyst and they're burning through quite a lot of cash, it could be seen as a pretty good value play. Something again to kind of consider. One thing as well, I just wanted to share with you based on the Elite Wave technicals as of right now, and of course, this is what did project for it to go down roughly 40% last time. It is still projecting for a further downtrend. So obviously, it doesn't have the ability to really look for external factors such as that Zach Morris tweeting and potentially hyping people up possibly even causing a squeeze if obviously the circumstances all line up but just based on the technicals then it is anticipated to kind of hit uh, four dollars because it does have a pivot point of nine dollars and 59 cents so for as long as it is below that then it is anticipated to hit that four to five dollar range so kind of crazy but if it is able to get above this pivot point then roughly 11 to 12 is anticipated so regardless 
hell of a lot of volatility. So just kind of be prepared for that. So this is where, if you think about it, if there is a squeeze or if there's more of a continuation of pumping, whether it be from Zach Morris or best case scenario, Roaring Kitty even just tweets out Virgin Galactic or SPCE, that would be crazy for the stock. And then yes, you could see a very substantial bump up in the stock price because shorts have been very stubborn with Virgin for a very long time. So again, that is something to kind of keep in mind. And the reason why I did say that shorts are stubborn, quickly I'll go back to IBKR one more time, but it does show the average duration of shorts holding their position is 224 Point nine seven days. So the shorts that are in Virgin have been in it for a long, long time. So again, that's where I get that they're stubborn and kind of lingering around. Moving on, looking at some data points. So 1.38 million in calls was purchased on Friday and then 357 in puts. Sentiment wise, 49% of all the options being done were optimistic and bullish. And looking at those call options that were purchased, you do see a consensus for it to be around the $8.50 to $9 range, at least in the next uh, week, week and a half. And then on the flip side, looking at puts, you do see a consensus for it to be roughly between that seven to 750 range, possibly even eight. So a lot of volatility, so just be prepared for that. And as of right now, with it currently trading at $8.24, it is trading between this S1 and the pivot. So 777, so lucky sevens, is going to be the next strong support. And then on the flip side, $11.80 is going to be that next strong resistance slash target. Very wide gaps on the Fib levels. So just anticipate a hell of a lot of volatility in the foreseeable future. So yes, Virgin definitely should be added to your watch list. There could be a nice swing here, but bigger, bigger picture, this is where not to be negative on the company, I feel like there just needs to be more substantial catalysts to really justify long-term kind of growth and investors to feel comfortable at these prices. But what do I know, right? That's just me, not a financial advisor. You guys do whatever floats your boat. Let me know your thoughts on Virgin. Have you been buying? Have you been selling? What is your thoughts, for instance, on a third party or an external source pumping? Uh, pumping, whether it be Virgin, GameStop, do you think it's justified? Do you think it's going to stick or just a quick spike up and then downtrend? What's your thoughts? Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And one final thing, take advantage of this promo. Simply sign up for a new account, throw $100 at it, and they give you five free stocks. Each stock is valued up to $2,000. Kick-ass deal, link in the description below and also the comments. With all that said, appreciate all of you watching.